ball position is not a fundamental. This video is going to show you why it's not. A fundamental means every great player does the same thing. And with ball positions, there's a couple different methods. And so I recommend, I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to show you how ball positions kind of evolve through history. And you're going to be able to experiment and see which one works best for you. As a general rule of thumb, um, you want to play the ball where your swing bottoms out. And not everybody bottoms out in the same place. So you'll see some players with ball position that tends to be back in their stance and some that tends to be quite far forward. Um, it depends on the plane you swing on and your distance away from the ball. There's so many factors and that's why you need to experiment as a player to see what works best for you. A uh, little brief history uh, before we get into the details of showing you. If you look back at history in some old books, Sam Snead had a couple books out in the 50s, um, so did Hogan, and they all had those famous diagrams of their feet and little balls with numbers on them dictating which club was which and where the ball should be. And back in those days, pretty much with pitching wedge, everybody played it off the back foot and they gradually went farther forward until they got the driver off the front foot. And everybody played it back then. But the reason why was because the turf conditions were much poorer back then than they are today. We didn't have automatic sprinkler systems. And so in the summer, especially in the south, there was not any grass at all in the fairways. Everything was hard pan. If you encounter those conditions today, I recommend still playing pitching wedge and sand wedge off your back foot and everything farther forward. But gosh, with the sprinkler systems today and the types of turf that we have here in Missouri, Zoysia, this, this tee box is Zoysia, we can play the ball farther forward in our stance because the lies are better. And the farther forward you play it, the higher trajectory you can hit and the farther you can hit the ball. So the modern players play the ball quite so far forward. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, three different ball position ideas and I hope you'll end up experimenting um, and then you can find which is the right one for you. The first method of ball position I'm going to show you is the old way of doing it. If, if you would have looked at Hogan's Power Golf or a book by Sam Snead or Bobby Jones back in the day, um, this is how it was done 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago. Um, and remember the turf conditions weren't as good, so they were playing off ground that was hard as a rock and very tight. And so if you encounter these conditions today, I still recommend it. It's also very good for hitting if your ball's in a divot with your wedges. Um, um, and it's also really good for players that like to flight their ball flight lower. Maybe it's a windy day, okay? So the old way of doing it was with your wedge was to play it off your trail foot um, and then your hands forward to where the butt end of the club would point past your belt buckle. And so that's where wedge would be played. Seven iron would be right in the middle and then driver would be right off our left heel, forward heel. So that's the old way of doing it. The modern player today usually chooses one of two methods. Uh, I think either one of them are, is correct. It just depends on preference and which one you find the best. By the way, it's always best when you're working on your ball positions and different ball positions to set up a station like this with this T. So you can have this T pointing at the ball. So now I have a reference for where that ball is, not only between my feet, but with my upper body. Let me mention that while I'm thinking about it. Um, generally speaking, most people look at their feet when they look at ball position. But ball position really matters with your upper body. 
Um, our arms and hands swing the club, and since they're attached to our shoulders, I look at ball position very often with a player's upper body. And so when I say I want the ball middle, I want it at my sternum. I see people whose, whose feet get off skew maybe one side or the other, and that can affect ball position dramatically. So always kind of have a concept in mind that we're talking about our upper body. So the modern player, the first method that a lot of them use is everything is played um, starting in the center. So my, this is my gap wedge. It would be right, the back of the ball would be right at the sternum, right at the center of me. And that is where I would play the ball position with my wedges to start. And then everything would gradually get farther forward until I get to driver. If my seven iron then would be slightly forward to center, and then by the time I get to driver, um, it's going to be um, off of my left heel, but more importantly, really, it's going to be off of my left shoulder if I'm looking at ball position with my upper body. So that's a very popular method of setting up for ball position. The final method. Um, is an interesting one. Um, if my recall's correct, I think Greg Norman was the first one that I can ever remember that set up this way. I'm sure there were somebody before him. Um, but a lot of players today do that. Um, if you agree that the club swings in a circle around your body in the golf swing, you have to have a radius for the swing. And on the back swing, and the downswing, the radius is going to be my forward arm or my left arm for a right-handed player. And so this is where the club, if I swing in a circle, should naturally square up is right here off my left shoulder, left pec area. So with driver, that's why historically everybody's played it off their front foot is because that is off your shoulder and, and here. But what a lot of players do, and it's very powerful, is they play everything off of this left shoulder. So driver, when I do that, I have a wide stance, and I'm off of my left shoulder um, and off my instep with the ball position. I can keep the ball position the same there with my seven iron, but my stance isn't near as wide and so now the ball doesn't look near as far forward when I take my stance, as you'll see here, as I set up here. It doesn't appear near as far forward as driver because this foot's not as big. I can still do the same thing with pitching wedge or gap wedge, and now I have a much narrower stance, and therefore it doesn't look as far forward either because I'm not tilted this way so much. And so. Uh, that's another excellent way to do it is to play everything off of this left pec, forward pec, forward shoulder, and vary the width of your stance as the clubs get longer. I've gotten one good comment already on this video. That is, does ball position dictate your ball flight? Do you tend to slice because of a certain ball position? Or do you tend to hook it because of a certain ball position? And the answer to that is yes. So the farther I play it back in my stance, the more the club's going to hit the ball with a path to the right for a right-handed player, and that's going to tend to hit a hook, okay? And then the more I play it forward, the more the club's going to swing to the left before I get to the ball, and that's going to tend to leave the face open with a left path, and I'm going to tend to hit slices. So I see that a lot with players that swings are too steep, is that they get the ball position way far forward, that gets their shoulders open at a dress, and man, it's like a triple whammy. They're over the top, their shoulders are open, their face is open to the path, and they hit big slices. So this ball position video and these ideas are very important for you if you have severe curvature of the ball. Um, you need to learn to aim correctly and play the ball in the correct position. Use 
a T down here so you have a reference point and it'll help you a lot. The last thing I'll talk about, a lot of people have trouble when I see somebody that has the ball too far back in their stance, um, it's likely because their swing is too much inside out. And whenever I'm too much inside out, I'm exaggerated in here, but I'm going to bottom out behind the ball and very far back in my stance. And then the other is if I, a player that's too steep on the way down is going to bottom out really far forward. Most people that play a lot of golf and have poor swings really with the plane of their swing has poor ball position because they figure out where the bottom of their swing is for the swing they have, but it's either too far forward or too far back. And so alignment's really important that our feet, hips, and shoulders are parallel to this target line as we're practicing this. Uh, but if you're having trouble and you know you have the ball in the correct place and you're either hitting it fat or thin, then you got a serious plane issue in your swing and that'd be the first thing I'd start looking at. I hope this helps you. Um, ball position is a really important part of learning to play golf correctly. The best players are very particular about getting the ball in the exact same position every time, both distance away and distance between feet. So keep that in mind. Uh, good luck. Uh, any questions or comments, just let us know.